Hey, guess what time it is? It's time for another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting 140 grain soft point cellier and bellet 6.5 Creedmoor. And here is the box for the cellier and bellet 140 grain soft point stuff. There is your ballistics information if you want to take a look. But let's open this up and see what the ammo looks like. Well, maybe. There we go. Something like that. Uh, and there we go. So they come in these plastic ammo holders. Let's yank one out and take a look, drop the box, and there it is. I mean, nothing special, nothing fancy, just a classic soft point hunting load. And the test rifle today is gonna to be my Ruger American, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, of course. We've got a 22 inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold VX Freedom three to nine by 40. And bringing up the rear, of course, I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs. This rifle's name is Pig Ugly. You can kind of see it behind the cartridges there. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get one for yourself. I would love to make you one. And I want to show you over here on the other side, we've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those 140 grain soft point cellier and bellets out of the 6.5 Creed. I'm going to come around to this side. Hopefully there won't be as bad as shadows. It's getting late in the day. But thankfully we managed to capture all three of those bullets. And it may look odd because they're all at the top of the block, but I flipped the block over. They were actually down towards the bottom. So as far as penetration goes, it looks like we got, we have one bullet at about 20 and really it's about 21 inches. And then we go back to the next one. It's right at 23 inches. And then we got one that's, it's, it's past 24. It's more like 24 and a quarter inches. That is outstanding performance from a budget soft point. And then coming back to the first block here, I'll try over here. Hopefully the shadow won't be too bad. Eh, see, there's my shadow. Oh well. So it looks like we have the primary wound cavity between about two inches, and it's hard to see, this block is a little bit dark, between about two inches and nine inches. So that's a real nice long primary wound cavity. And let's take a look at the velocities from that 140 grain cellier and bell at 6.5 Creedmoor. Our high was 26.29. Our low was 26.24 for an average of 26.25. And here are those 140 grain soft point cellier and bellet bullets pulled from the ballistics gel. First, we'll talk about weight retention. Respectively, we saw 73 grains, 86 grains, and 92 grains for an average of 84 grains of retained weight. That works out to 60% weight retention. And notice the bullet on the left over there. The core and jacket are separated. That didn't happen until I yanked the thing out of the ballistics gel block, so I'm not really counting it against it but it just does go to show how inexpensively constructed these bullets are. And now on to expansion. We saw 0.5 inches, 0.62 inches, and 0.71 inches of expanded diameter for an average of 0.61 inches. That is a little bit of variability. Overall, that works out to 2.3x expansion on average, which is really right in line with a lot of 6.5 Creedmoor I've tested so far. And as far as velocity goes, we saw something very interesting. Our high velocity was 2,629 feet per second. Our low was 2,624 feet per second for an average of 2,625 feet per second. Now, the interesting thing is that our spread between high and low was only five feet per second. I think that is the tightest velocity spread that I have tested of any ammo thus far. I might be mistaken, but I don't think so. And also, we came very, very close to the factory build velocity. 
the build velocity was 2,658 feet per second, and on average, we were only 33 feet per second slow, so that's good. And now on to penetration. Respectively, we saw 21 inches, 23 inches, and 24 and a quarter inches for an average of 22 and three quarter inches of penetration depth. That's over my 20 inch benchmark I like to see for medium game hunting ammo. That'll definitely do the job. All right, final thoughts on that Cellier and Bellet 140 grain soft point load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Overall, I think this particular load performed about middle of the road across all categories. We saw 60% weight retention, which is actually pretty bad for a lot of 6.5 Creedmoor loads. We saw 2.3x expansion, which is about there on par with a lot of other stuff. It did pretty good on penetration, 22 and three quarter inches. So all in all, if you've got the stuff in your rifle likes it, this stuff will definitely kill a deer. It gives you a little bit more margin for error, I think, than the 131 grain version. I've already done that video. Check it out if you haven't. It's not my type of load. I'm not going to pick up the stuff and start using it. It's good for blasting and practice, stuff like that. As far as hunting loads go, honestly, there's better stuff out there for not much more money. If you've used this particular load to hunt with, let me and everyone else know how it did down in the comments. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.